my little grocery haul. I like want to do anything and everything all at once. My number one tip for being productive is the more we got to spend my feelings growing. I don't think I'll ever fall in love with you, baby. I don't think I'll ever fall in love with you. But we're going through the same shit, just a different person. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. It's around 9.15 a.m. and I woke up about a half hour ago. I already did my skincare routine and everything that I do in the mornings when I wake up. I wash my face, did my skincare routine and all of that. I actually did get accepted into the 10 a.m. Orange Theory class today. I'm not fully awake yet. So this morning I received a notification that I was accepted into the 10 a.m. Orange Theory class today. So. I have less than an hour to try to eat a little snack and get ready for my Orange Theory class this morning. Even though I totally woke up so sore because yesterday was my first Orange Theory class in like forever. It had been a few weeks because I went to LA, then I had the family emergency and I went to Oregon. And then my friend immediately was here in DC with me for a week. I just didn't work out that week, but we did a lot of walking. So I do think I still worked out. But as you know, strength training and cardio are completely different. I woke up super, super sore. It hurts to walk. So I'm just going to do all the modified exercises today in Orange Theory. I'm not going to do sprints like I did yesterday, for sure. I'm definitely going to try to just take it a little bit easier today and enjoy my workouts. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I just made myself a Nespresso. My favorite, the caramel cookie. I like to drink this one when I just want to have black coffee. And when I feel like having a lot, I'll have the Altissimo or the Diavolito, but not today because, well, first of all, I'm not gonna have enough time to drink an entire latte. Also, I just really wanted some black coffee. So I'm gonna drink this. I also remember I made my to-do list last night. So let me pull that out real quick. So I went ahead and grabbed my to-do list that I made last night, as you likely saw. So I actually have quite a few chores that I need to do today, including, but not limited to, unloading the dishwasher, doing laundry. I am going to have breakfast and coffee at some point, probably after my Orange Theory class. I'm going to do my workouts. I'm supposed to, okay, this is one that I put like a question mark on because I talked to the customer service at Living Spaces and if you haven't seen my previous video, they essentially sent me the wrong facing chase for my couch. They already had their delivery people come pick up the incorrect couch, but now I'm only left with like the sofa part without any like arm on the right side. So they told me they were going to come today, which is Saturday, but they haven't reached out to me, called or sent any emails like they usually do so I'm not really feeling super confident that my couch is coming today even though they told me that it would because it's already been two weeks since they initially kind of messed up my order and it's already been a month since I first ordered my couch so I'm not 100% sure if I recommend living spaces I mean I guess we'll see how this situation pans out I tried calling them yesterday they didn't answer I tried sending an email and I haven't gotten a response so we'll see how this goes I may or may not be getting the rest of my couch today and then then I also need to edit my next vlog because I want to post it by tomorrow. I'm trying to post a new vlog every like three to four days. That's my goal. And if I really have a good vlogging week where I'm just like vlogging a ton, then I might aim to post every couple of days. But I'm not really pushing it too much, especially since I have my nine to five job. I also need to make a thumbnail, fold clothes, sweep and vacuum. I have some things to order on Amazon for the apartment because I plan to do like like a little bit of an apartment haul soon but first I need to order some of the things like some apartment essentials that I still haven't ordered and I also need to respond to YouTube business emails today fun stuff and I have a couple things
things from work that I actually think I need to log in and do today as well. So it's definitely going to be hopefully a very productive day. As long as I get through like 75% of my list, I think that will be very productive because that's a lot of things to do. And I'm kind of excited to get it all done with you all. It definitely makes my day go by a lot faster and I look forward to it more when I know that I'm going to be hanging out with you all. So thank you for watching and supporting me and my channel. And with that said, I need to go eat a little something, maybe like half a banana or something and get ready for my workout class this morning. <laughs> I'm watching my favorite Taylor Woods while I finish up my cup of coffee. I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected. And I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page? Tonight, can we stay? And why don't you? Hey, what's up y'all? It's 10.59, so it's pretty much 11 a.m. I just got done with my Orange Theory workout. I'm literally trembling, so sorry if the camera's shaking, but I am so tired and so hot. Getting back into working out after not working out, even just for a few weeks, is pretty hard. I'm hungry, but I'm, I'm out of bread and eggs and stuff, so I'm gonna go do a quick little run to Whole Foods and hopefully get a couple of things so that I can make breakfast, and then after that I'll probably shower and check in with you all. I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back On the same page Tonight can we stay And why don't you Talk to me I just got back from Whole Foods I don't know if you can see my reusable bag back there But I'm gonna show you real quick A little grocery haul of what I got I It's not like a full grocery haul Cause I just kind of got a few snacks and breakfast foods that I want to kind of eat in the next few days, but a grocery haul nonetheless. And then I'm going to put the food away and take a quick shower before I make breakfast. Okay, so real quick, my little grocery haul. I got these artisan crackers that I tried for the first time last week, and they're really, really good. So I got some more of those. also got this cranberry orange goat cheese that I tried when Nadia was here. She put me on. That stuff is so good with those crackers. And then I, of course, got some sourdough bread. I love it from the Whole Foods Bakery. I got some sea salt and lime tortilla chips with some guac. Yes, I know, honestly, it would be much better to make my own. But I just feel like the avocados over here are not the best. So I just buy it already made. And I got some croissants because I already have ham. And I have a few eggs left. And I also got some cheese so that I could have like a toasted croissant egg and cheese sandwich for breakfast some days. And then I got some blueberries and some blackberries so that I could oh and some ricotta cheese as well so that I could make some ricotta toast with my sourdough bread and that's it I'm gonna put this away and go take a shower So it's 12 p.m. I just showered. I put on just a little bit of makeup, pretty much just tinted moisturizer, lip gloss, and mascara. And I put on my loungewear outfit of the day, my cute sweats from H&M. Got my really comfy slippers. I think I got them from Target. And also just like this comfy crop top from Amazon. So I'm gonna make my breakfast and an iced latte, I think, because that just kind of sounds good right now. And continue this productive day in my life and start crossing things off for my to-do list. Waking up feeling like it's gonna rain It's sunny up but it just comes in waves When you ask me if I'm okay I don't have a lot to say Can't tell you something I do not know Okay, I don't have a lot to say Can't tell you something I 
So my number one tip for being productive is to try and multitask and also prioritize your task by whatever's gonna take you the most time. So when looking at my to-do list, the task that will likely take the most time is doing laundry because I know I have more than one load of laundry to do today. And after that would probably be editing my vlog. That would take like the longest amount of time. But because that's not like a super priority, that's something that I'll do like at the end of the day most likely. I'm going to start loading my laundry while my toast is toasting. And then I will be able to eat my breakfast while my first load of laundry is washed. Watching. So even if I'm relaxing watching YouTube videos, I'm still being productive. Breakfast looks amazing and it's ready to eat. So I'm gonna try this for you all on camera real quick. This is one of my favorite ricotta toasts. I got the idea and was inspired by Natasha Ocean a long time ago. And then I just kind of ran with it. Mmm. It's the crunch for me. It's so good and it's really not very sweet, which I really like. So I'm gonna enjoy this, drink my coffee and watch some of my favorite YouTubers to try to catch up on some fun videos that I didn't get to watch during the work week. And I'll check in with you all to continue with my to-do list after. So come on baby, hold me. Let me be the one, I'll try to be deserving. I promise not to run, and I'll try to say what's on my mind, cause baby I need you. So I've been watching like home decor videos a lot lately, including right now, because I'm still trying to really figure out how to make my apartment feel like home and also keeping in mind that it is a smaller space. So I don't want to one, get too much furniture, but I also want my space to feel functional and stuff. I've been watching videos from interior designers on YouTube about that. And honestly, it's so much like, I think I need to sell my dresser in my bedroom and I need to put that on Facebook Marketplace, sell that, move my bookshelf, move this mirror. I think I wanna move it into my bedroom and then get some lighting in there, have a nightstand. I definitely miss having this nightstand in my bedroom. It's it's missed as I right now leave my phone and my glasses on the ground when I go to sleep and I don't really love that. It's not optimal. So yeah, there's definitely a lot that goes along with getting your own first apartment. It's mostly exciting, but it can also be anxiety inducing but I'm gonna take a break from this because now I'm going to continue with my to-do list. I crossed some things off on my to-do list that I did, such as working out, my breakfast and coffee. I called living spaces regarding my couch delivery and they said that it'll arrive within nine days. So it's not arriving today. And I put in a load of laundry, I need to put it to dry now. And I'm going to unload the dishwasher and do the dishes that are in the sink so that my kitchen will be clean and then probably take out the trash. So I want to add a couple of things to my to-do list. But I also, hopefully after David gets off of work, I'll ask him if he can come over or if he has time to hang out with me today. If he can come over and take me to the container store. I've always wanted to go, but I didn't know there was one close to me and there is. So I'm gonna put that because I wanna get some organizers for under the sink. So I'm adding that to my list in the whenever section, just in case I can't go today, maybe we can go tomorrow. Let's see what else did I think that I need to do. I think that's the only thing I needed to add right now. I just wanted to share this with you. It seems so minuscule, but I'm like always editing and changing my to-do list. I don't think anything I ever write on a to-do list is set in stone. I don't punish myself if I don't complete something on my to-do list. I don't let myself feel like disappointed 
or anything when it's written down it's really just a reminder and it just makes me feel good to cross it off i don't let it make me feel bad if i don't cross something off so just a reminder to be kind to yourself and just do what you can do and being productive doesn't have to feel like punishment it doesn't have to be like this negative boring thing for me being productive just means i'm literally just getting some things done that I want to get done or that I really need and want to get done. So that's going to be it for my spiel for right now. I'm going to unload the dishwasher and work on that. Let me set some tunes. You don't need no filters. You my rocket, you my perfect picture. Baby, you know I'm trying to kick it with ya. Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark We get 106 and park You be my rock, I be your big tigger I'm tryna show you off I'm tryna flaunt you I'm obsessed with ya, baby, I want ya They don't watch ya Tell them they can tune in and Show them how I put our love on a billboard So you just need to look out your window Show the whole city I'm all yours Let me put us on display, yeah I'll shout it from the rooftop to load the dishwasher. Yeah, I put our love on the billboard. So you just need to look out your window. Show the whole city. Strawberries and wine She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet Baby girl, be mine Baby girl, be mine Yeah, yeah Pick up your phone, I need your attention My girl so bad, we call her detention I am so glad we moved beyond friendship and your mama like me, look, I squared up with Cupid, told him, find me. I saw your love, he shot my heart. I'm losing breath, it's getting dark. I think I might need CPR, baby, won't you tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you're willing to prove, cause I ain't got nothing to lose. It's true that you mean the world to me, yeah. I travel around the globe, but I know that you're the only girl for me. And I gotta let you know that, yeah, baby, yeah. It's around 2.30. My camera died earlier, but I went and I took out the trash. I've wiped down the counters, put in new trash bags, and I put in another load of laundry. So I'm gonna work on this right now. And I'm gonna save the sweeping and the vacuuming for the very end. So I just wanted to do a quick little realistic update to show you all like please don't judge me but I'm just sharing with you all the realness of it. My room is a mess. I've obviously been cleaning and being productive today but I just feel like there's so much to do so I'm going to show you real quick. Try not to judge me too harshly but I'm just trying to keep it you know honest with you all and then that way you'll also be able to see the progress once we get further along but I just filled this hamper with more clothes for the second round of laundry. Closet is still kind of a mess. I love these shoe organizers that I have so far but that's pretty much the only part of the closet that I like. I don't like this entire setup over here. I think I'm gonna end up moving or getting rid of my my dresser because my dresser is too big i just feel like there isn't a place for everything currently like i need to organize but i also just need to rearrange my entire room anyway so this is what my room is looking like there's literally stuff all over the floor and there's stuff all over my bed and my closet is a mess yeah and then and then and then and then if you look at and join me in my hallway closet 
There it is. This is another mess that I desperately want to organize, but I know that I can't do everything in one day. I need to find shelves that fit. Everything costs money, so I need to be very mindful of that. This is why I said yesterday that I have to mentally prepare for a productive day, and I make a to-do list not only to look at and remember what I want to do, but also to kind of stay and not veer off my plan too much, because if I don't have a list that I look at and I try to stick to, I will literally just go off on little like tangents or I don't even know what the right word is but for example right now I like want to organize my closet I want to figure out and organize under my sink in my bathroom I want to organize my hall closet a part of me just wants to go online and start searching for organization and do that instead and then also move things around and see how I can do all that but then another part of me is like okay Selena you have a list of things to do and so it kind of grounds me so like I need to do my laundry that still needs to get done I need to put clothes away where it is right now I need to wipe down the counters in and disinfect things in my bedroom and dust things down and this is why I make a list it's not only because oh it's pretty and it's aesthetic which I also love and it helps me but because it 100% keeps me on track otherwise I will veer off the path very quickly because that's just the way my mind works I like want to do anything and everything all at once but it's like no girl you need to take a second, take a step back, stick to the plan, and take it day by day. So that's just a little rant I wanted to share with you all. Can anyone relate? This is, this is literally how I am all the time. I'm gonna continue with the to-do list that I created for today. To be honest, I don't really need to be fit. To be honest, I've been caught up in the deep end. What you wanted, I've been rolling on a road, so kind of close though. On the way home, five bags and she keep tags. Hair style, nails done, but she checking for a waist, man. Die times need faith, man. But she been patient. I've been rolling, downtown, stay focused. Cheap spots get cloud, oh baby, this is showbiz. All signs say hopeless. This is life in the lowest. Okay, so quick little update. I am waiting for my clothes to dry. I already folded everything and put it away. I picked up my room, cleaned a little bit, organized. I just need to wipe down like my dresser and everything. And then it's time to sweep and vacuum. And then I hope to make a little bit of something to eat because I haven't really had any food since breakfast. So I should probably eat something after that. But I'm on a roll, so I'm gonna try to get the sweeping slash vacuuming done now. Quick little update, I just updated my to-do list. The kitchen is pretty much spotless. The floors are all cleaned, I vacuumed. And when I say swept, I just used my vacuum, but there's like a setting for hardwood floors and it's amazing. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's nothing on this floor anymore and I love it. I also did the bathroom, so that's nice and clean as well. I cleaned up my bedroom, vacuumed, put away some clutter into the storage closet cleaned up my desktop and my dresser is clean now finally it really needed to be wiped down and it's looking so much better this is going to be so great for my mental health for my overall productivity during my work week now that it's nice and clean in here I play back when it's over, the back when, back when it's over, back when it's over, I want back when it's back, back, 
It's 5 p.m. and I just finished eating up my lunch, which was just a sandwich, and I'm feeling pretty tired. I feel like I was just going, going, going since the morning from my workout until I came home. I was just pretty productive. So another tip that I wanted to share about how to stay productive is to take power naps. I'm sure that you've heard about it in articles online that they've written about the idea of taking power naps, but I can just speak from my own experience. Power naps have literally saved my life when I want to stay productive because it's like I can go really hard like I did today, clean up everything, get everything done, and then I feel tired. And I could either just not do anything the rest of the day because I'm just exhausted at this point or take a power nap which will only take around like 15 to 20 minutes of me just resting sleeping whatever and then i get up and i always feel more energized so that's just a tip have you ever tried taking power naps because if you have let me know down below what your experience is with that in the comment section because i'm actually very curious and if you haven't tried taking a power nap i 100 suggest you at least give it a shot and then let me know how it goes i'm going to set a timer for a 20 20 minute nap. I'm gonna get some Z's hopefully. Hello! That nap was absolutely necessary. I feel so much more awake and ready to continue to do things off of my to-do list. So I brought my handy dandy laptop. I also brought my to-do list to make sure I'm staying on track for the rest of the night. I have some business emails that I need to respond to, so I'm going to do that first. So I've been watching Arvin Alano's home decor videos and everything and he's just amazing. I love his personality, everything about him, he's my favorite. And I just discovered for some reason all late that he has vlogs and that he does vlogs once in a while and I'm hooked. I just love his personality so much and he's just so like fun and quirky. But I'm gonna be watching his vlogs in the background while I edit my own vlog and hopefully get it done tonight or at least very close to done so that I can post it up tomorrow for you all. So it is 7.35 already and I'm still editing. I've been having some issues with storage. I had to delete all of my generated render files from Final Cut Pro to just make some more disk space. So that's been fun. But I wanted to check on my to-do list real quick. It looks like I did complete like pretty much 90% of my to-do list for today. Remember the bottom portion was like a whenever list, basically just stuff that I wanna get done this weekend, but it didn't need to get done today. And the top two sections were the morning and afternoon, and I got everything done except I didn't make my thumbnail, but I did gather the photos that I'm gonna use to make the thumbnail tomorrow. And I haven't finished editing my vlog, but the goal was not to finish it, it was just to work on it. So that was accomplished and I'm probably just gonna keep editing tonight because it's just me and I don't really have anything else to do besides probably fold some laundry once it comes out of the dryer. And then I also have to make an order on Amazon, but I didn't want to show you in this vlog because I rather do like an unboxing when I receive all of the fun stuff. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope that you got something out of it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give this video a like and make sure to comment down below because I respond to all of your comments. I love chatting with you all in the comments section. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a single video from me. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Whoop.